Uh, James Atkinson, are this, uh, this week in the Parliament there is a high-level conference towards a renewed partnership with Africa. However, the issue of land grabs and this catastrophe caused by this policy in South Africa and also in Zimbabwe is not on the agenda. How do you explain it? Um, this place has to realise that it, had to have, it has to have free trade deals with Africa. The only African nation that they have free trade deals with is South Africa, which is a British Commonwealth country. I actually raised it in the opening session of Strasbourg here last week to have the wealthy farm murders on the agenda, but they didn't want to discuss it, but they're having a high level conference now. If they won't discuss it, and human rights only matter to certain MEPs, depending on which grouping you're from, or depends on your political view. When I raise it from the European of Nations and Freedom Group, we can't have human rights because it's only pet humans in this place where certain human rights are appealed to. If we don't address what happens in, in 18 months and what's going on at the moment now in South Africa, then you look at Zimbabwe, it's going to be even worse than Zimbabwe. The murders are happening now, there is land grab against the wealthy, successful farmers. Uh, in 18 months time, South Africa goes to the polls and at the moment the ANC is losing ground. They could lose their 50% majority, in which case they were going to coalition with the economic freedom fighters. Those people are murderers, they are encouraging the land grab, they're encouraging the murders and they want the nationalisation of the banks and nationalisation of the mines. That, that happens, then what will happen, what you've seen happening in Zimbabwe will be even worse. And we've got to learn from what's happening in Zimbabwe. All those things happened and now that tyrant has finally deposed and people are talking about investing in Africa and that's what they want is investment from China, from Russia, from the UK because we can have a free trade deal with them which we can't at the moment and that's what the EU has to realise is that it's trade that they need, not aid. Our James Atkinson, uh, South Africa is the only country that trades with the European Union, that has a trade agreement. How do you think it can be improved and enlarged and also spread to the other African countries who are basically sick of aid because they need a long-term solution, not just are be on the needle of this endless aid? It comes back to common fisheries policy and common agricultural policy because the EU is a protectionist racket and it protects its own. Until we actually start trading with Africa and taking our food stocks from them, which we will do once we have left um, and, and Brexit is successful, we can start trading with Africa and that's how we get them to encourage them to grow some wheat, products, sugar, etc. At the moment, because of the closed border here and the internal markets, that can't happen and that's a tragedy for Africa. So you can have as many high level conferences as you like, but until you address the trading side of uh, with the EU, then they're just going to be kept in poverty. Uh, Robert Mugabe also practice land grabs and we know that uh, Zimbabwe economy is absolutely in tatters, it's absolutely in ashes. So what's your vision, how European Union and Great Britain can help, can help Africa to, to, uh, to overcome this crisis and to become wealthy again? Okay, well they have, it's one of the richest countries in the world for mining and minerals. We have to have investment back in those mines, encouraging the, the banking union bankers to go back there and that's how you trade. There are There is Chinese interest, there is Russian interest, hopefully the US will be involved in this, certainly Britain should be involved in this and the EU has to have a tra free trade agreement, that's the way forward. Uh, James Atkinson, last question, what about human rights? Because people are not willing, I mean bankers are also people, they're not willing to invest in the countries where human rights are not respected, where there is no rule in law of law. We have seen that with Robert Mugabe, that it really, the country degraded economically because there was no respect of human rights. How to bring that back in picture? Well, again, they've got to have uh, new elections. Zano PF, I suggest that the people vote for somebody else. Vote for democratic parties that will invoke the rule of law. But don't look to the European Union to do that because you should not be following their model. Look at your own country, your own rule of law, and abide by that.